everyone, this is Elizabeth with Scott Leroy Marketing. In this tip video, I'm going to show you how to add your preferred vendors to your HomeKeeper account. So we're going to start today by going to pros.homekeeper.com. HomeKeeper spelled H-O-M-E-K-E-E-P-R. Again, that's pros.homekeeper.com. First, we're going to enter our email address that we used to sign in and sign up for HomeKeeper. Next, we're going to enter our password and click Login. Once we're in HomeKeeper, we will be defaulted to our dashboard. Here's where you can see a little bit about your profile, clients, links, widgets, where you would find the real estate blogs and the search vendors widgets to put on your command websites, the blog content, etc. So today we're going to focus on this vendor tile. It's the second one from the left. You can also click the vendor tab in the top menu in the white banner, take you to the same spot. And once you click either of those, you'll be taken to the My Vendors page. You can, of course, add or remove vendors at any time as you please. You'll first see all of the vendors that have already been added to your HomeKeeper account. When you first sign up for an account, there's an option to add your Market Center's vendors and or your board or association's vendors, if they have any that have been previously sent to HomeKeeper. So you'll see I have a whole lot in my account because I have both my board and my offices added already. If you don't see anything here, no worries. So vendors within HomeKeeper can be invited to join HomeKeeper and you'll see their status here um, when they're listed down below. That just means they have a profile on HomeKeeper that brands them just as you have a HomeKeeper account that brands you. So to quickly add a vendor, you would simply click this Add Vendors button towards the top right. And you'll see all of the fields listed with either required or optional. So for the category, you have not only the drop-down listed in alphabetical order, but also you can search by simply typing on your keyboard. So for instance, if you had a landscaper, you could enter land. If you didn't know what you were looking for, you can type in the service as well. So you see lawn care maybe one, or painting, or there are even vendors like dry cleaners, you know, something not related to the home buying process. This is just vendors in general. So once you select your category, and of course you can assign more by clicking the link right below the drop down box, you would enter the company name, If you have a contact, their phone number, if they want to display an email address, city, state, zip, website, and any comments you have, you can add those as well. But once you have just those three pieces, you can click Submit. Once you do, that will allow them to pop up in this list 
back on your vendors page. And of course, if your list is as, is as long as mine is, you can always search by typing in the search box here. You can filter by category. And also, this is how you can delete more than one vendor at a time. So once you have added the vendor to your HomeKeeper account, if you would like to send them an invite to HomeKeeper so that they can build their HomeKeeper account and profile, you can either click the invite button over in the left-hand column, and you'll see once you hover over that, it'll give you a little hint as well. Or you can right click copy link address for this link at the top to be able to put that in a text message, email, or even do a sort of all call on your social media. For example, Facebook, you could click create a post, pop this link in there, and say, would you like to be one of my favorite home pros and or local business? If you happen to have an Excel spreadsheet of your vendors, let's say you do have as many as I do, just not in your HomeKeeper account yet, or even if you want to build that Excel spreadsheet, you can. And then you would simply email it over to HomeKeeper. HomeKeeper's email address is support at homekeeper.com. That is also who you can contact if you would like to add your market centers vendors or even your board or associations vendors as well. Just in case you're new to the area and would like to start out with a list already created for you. Of course, if you have any questions over this or anything else, reach out and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching and have a great day.